Hello, so in the previous tutorial, we looked at how to add a picture in picture effect so that you can have a map in the top right hand corner of the screen. So basically you can have a, a first person view taking up most of the screen and then a little map um, up in the corner of the screen. And that was using cameras. Now with cameras, you can also use layers. So basically with layers, what you can do is you can hide certain objects in one camera view and show certain objects in other camera views. So for example, if you wanted one player to be able to see all of the objects in the scene, then you could um, have that camera or have that camera um, showing all the layers. And if you wanted another player to only see certain objects, then you could hide um, particular objects from them by um, only allowing them to see certain layers in the scene. So what we'll do in this tutorial is we'll look at how to add layers and how to show and hide objects in different cameras. So um, this is a scene that I have set up from the previous tutorial where I added a, uh, we've got a first person controller here and I added a map camera using a picture in picture effect. So if we play this scene, this is what we have. So we have our first person um, character here moving around and up in the right hand corner of the screen you can see that um, the character is on the map represented with a red sphere. Now the problem, and it's not actually a problem at the moment, but the issue is that this red sphere, um, it could actually be visible to the player in the first person view. Um, at the moment, it's not visible. So in the first person view, we can't actually see the red sphere, but on the map we can. And that's that's what we want. But if we had a third person view, we would probably actually see the red sphere because the red sphere is attached to the character controller. Um, so we probably can't see the red sphere at the moment just because we're inside the red sphere. Okay, so if you wanna have an object um, on the map, um, representing a character so they're visible on the map in the picture-in-picture -picture view. Um, you need to make sure that they can't actually see that object um, in the first person view or in a third person view. Um, at the moment can't see that object but just imagine that we can or just imagine that we're using a third person view and we can see a big red sphere in front of us the whole time. So what we can do is we can create um, a layer for the actual uh, sphere object and then we can show and hide that object um, on different cameras. So um, up the top here you can see there's a little layers toolbar. Okay, that's in the just the scene panel here, there's a layers toolbar. And also on the different objects that you select, so if I go and click on the sphere here, um, you can see that you can pick what layer it actually belongs to. So what we want to do is we want to um, basically click on this sphere. We want to click on the um, layer drop down box here in the inspector and click on add layer. Okay, now there's a few default layers here, but there's user layers that you can add just by typing in and clicking. Um, I'm clicking on a box here and typing in a name and um, that's basically creating a new layer. So what we'll do is we've got user layer eight here selected and I'm just gonna call this, um, I'm gonna call this blip or map blip layer. Okay, I'll hit enter or return. So now this sphere is on the map blip layer. And if we go up to layers here, you can see that that layer exists there. Okay, you can go to edit layers from there as well and. Um, add layers there too. Okay, so the sphere is now on the map blip layer. Oops, sorry, I added the map blip layer, but I actually haven't assigned it, the sphere to that layer yet. So um, we need to go back to this layer drop down box and choose map blip layer. So now it belongs to that layer. So first step is to add the layer, and the second step is to assign the object to that layer. So the sphere is now assigned to the map blip layer. Okay, now what we can do is we can go to the map, uh, sorry, we can go to the first person character 
and we can go into the inspector and see the uh, camera component here. And what we can then do is we can have a look at this culling mask property here. And at the moment it's just set to mixed. Um, but what we can do, well actually what it should be set to by default is everything. But what we can actually do is um, tell the camera what we want it to see and what we don't want it to see. So by default, the culling mask will be set to everything. I think it was just mixed because I had already changed it earlier when I was playing around with it. But by default, it'll be everything. Okay. If you click on that drop down box and deselect the map blip layer, that means that this camera will no longer see whatever is on the map blip layer. So if I click on that, it now says mixed. Okay. And so the map blip <laughs> or the red sphere is no longer visible from the first person character's camera. Okay. If we go to map cam, you can see that the red blip or the sphere is visible on this layer. If we go and do the same thing here, click on culling mask and deselect the map blip layer, you can see that the red dot or the sphere disappears from there. So um, just so that you can see that it actually does work. Okay, but we'll go back and click on everything because we do want um, to see the red blip in the map chem view. All right, so it's basically how to add layers and how to assign objects to a layer so that you can show and hide objects in different camera views. All right, so add a, add a layer first, assign an object to a layer, and then you can go into a, a camera, whether it's just any normal camera or whether it's a camera attached to a character or an object. And then you can go to the culling mask and the inspector and you can deselect what you do and don't want to see in different layers or in different cameras. All right, that's basically it. Thanks for watching.